Kate, the Princess of Wales, and Prince William were rocked by the Queen's death just weeks after their family moved to Adelaide Cottage on the Windsor estate bringing them closer to the monarch. The Prince and Princess of Wales are stressed and under pressure after not getting a chance to settle into their new home, royal author Katie Nicholl has claimed. Speaking on Talk TV's Royal Tea, host Sarah Hewson said, Katie, you said this week she has been under pressure, she has been stressed of late and that William and Kate have not had the settling in period they might have been hoping for of their new life. Ms Nichol said, absolutely, they've said that themselves, that this hasn't been the settling period that they had hoped for. Of course, they made that big move just after the summer holidays to move to Windsor. A significant and pretty bold move leaving Kensington Palace, enrolling the children in new schools, setting up a new life for themselves in Windsor. I think really sir that they could be below the radar and have this normal family life which they are pretty successful in having. Of course, no one could have expected that the Queen would have died just at the start of all of that. Very, very difficult times. I think behind the scenes there is a fair bit of stress and anxiety for all of the family. The Prince and Princess of Wales have begun their first visit to Wales since receiving their titles, travelling to Anglesey, where they made their first home as newlyweds and where they took Prince George and Princess Charlotte during the Platinum Jubilee weekend. It is understood William has no plans for any kind of an investiture like the ceremony staged for the King, and is focused on deepening the trust and respect of the people of Wales over time. A royal source said in the aftermath of the Queen's death, the new Princess of Wales appreciates the history associated with this role but will understandably want to look to the future as she creates her own path. A few days after the Queen's death, William spoke via telephone with Mark Drakeford, First Minister of Wales, a conversation where William mentioned his deep affection for Wales. Thank you.